Hello, it's Marcy again with Then and There. And I have just a quick little, well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but something I wanted to share with you guys. I have my new um, trashy junk journal here that um, was in the last few videos that I've made. And um, I'm going to work in it a little bit today. Like I said before, I've really been inspired by Laura Horn Art. Um, she has a series out right now about um, sketchbook play and um, just uh, using a sketchbook and how to go about that and some ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so um, the first lesson that she did or um, video that she did, it's sort of like a lesson, was about finding color palettes and I really loved her take on this because it reminded me of something that I've been doing for years and um, it, but she had a, a, a new way of doing it a little bit more challenging which I really loved so um, basically part of what she does is or what she was talking about was finding color palettes and um, learning about them so what she had us do was go through magazines and cut out pictures in um, like a related or it, colors and pictures with um, related um, color palette. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. And so I did a few. This was one of them. This one um, started out with this image here, just shades of gray. And it's kind of got a yellow undertone, so I picked up on some yellows here. And just here are a few of the pictures. I'm going to cut just this part of this out. Um, and I love just finding the colors. No particular pattern or picture or anything. It's just colors and shades and tones of that color. Um, this here is just more of the grays. I don't know for sure if I'm going to use this one. We'll see. Um, so I went through my journal and I was looking for... <laughs> looking for a place to put these um, in my journal and, or my sketch I don't it's a sketchbook journal let's call it that and I came on this onto this page and it is perfect because it's already got the grays and yellow tones in the um, image here on the page so that's gonna be perfect and then what I'm gonna do um, what she was talking about was making a color palette or yeah a color swatch of your color palette oh my goodness I can't talk um, anyways so be but before we jump into this I wanted to talk a little bit like I had said before I've been kind of doing something very similar to this for years this is um, a book that I call my glue book I um, <clears throat> literally just tear out and cut out pictures from magazines and I glue them together in ways that please me um, and so just kind of quickly we have um, uh, shades of gray, pinks and purples with some greens, color palette right there. Um, and they're just images that just make me happy. This one here is not completely finished. I think I wanted to add this on here, but if this one, it's kind of a color palette. It's, um, uh, what are those called? Primary colors. It has a lot of that. And I've just kind of been working on it slowly. Um, not even finished this. I used this image as my base. It's got orange, green, and purple in it and just created a spread that pleases me. Sometimes it's not even a color palette. Sometimes it's an aesthetic like this right here just feels good to me. Um, and then I did kind of try to pull in okay. another thing that I liked to do when I was doing this was, um, just go in and add things that I collected after this page was done and I just added that in later so um, just I'm not trying to go into a lot of details but um, this was just a lot of fun for me to pull colors and um, work with them in this kind of way another thing that's not finished I want to get back I haven't worked in my glue book in ages and I want to get back to that if you're interested I do have videos of me making these if you are interested they're on my channel just um, a quick little <laughs> shameless plug there. Um, this book is almost finished, but not quite. So anyway, so back into this, I'm going to, <clears throat> I did want to show you again, actually another thing. I have this color palette, which I showed you. I have a couple more. 
that I wanted to show you real quick before I start gluing. Um, this one, this one is very comfortable to me because these are colors that I um, are drawn to anyways. But I do have another one that was much more challenging. This one here, um, I wanted to stretch myself. And so I took this image here, which the green is a color that I'm drawn to anyways. But pinks and yellows are not colors that I'm normally drawn to, but I do love this image. And this is kind of a greenish yellow. And so I tried to pull in some colors. It was a little bit harder for me to find images to work with this, but I think I found some. Like this one here has that deep green, that dark green to it, as well as this one. And we have some pinks. And then I thought it was going to be difficult to find a color to coordinate with this um, this yellow green here, or green yellow. I don't know what you call it, but I found some. And I just am loving that color palette. And it's outside of my norm. It's outside my comfort zone. Um, so I'm, I'm pushing myself and stretching myself a little bit in that aspect. So um, I'm just going to start gluing things down. And then I'm going to do some color swatches. Um, see if I can match these colors. See how good my eye is. <laughs> so I'm going to just start, I'll just start here in the front. I'm just going to use a glue stick and just glue them down. Just, I'm not trying to cover the whole page. I'm not trying to make an image. I'm just gluing colors down, literally. <laughs>
color boards, I guess you could call them. Um, and now I'm going to do the color swatches. I, I apologize. I do. I didn't realize until it was too late that I was, I was pushing my book over a lot. And so not all of it was in camera. Um, sorry about that. One of these days I'll, <coughs> I'll get all this down. So for my color swatches, what I've decided to do, I'm using tube watercolors. Um, and I'm going to use just these, um, like postcard, watercolor postcard things. I'm just going to grab three and do some color swatches on that and then just glue them into the journal because this is not watercolor paper and not all of them are even white. So I'm going to do them on here and then put them in the book. Um, thing I'm looking for, and I'm going to set this kind of, try to... Let me see. Try to set it someplace where you can see what I'm trying to work with. Of course, cameras and computer screens and all that stuff change colors a little bit. <coughs> so, I am I just have a palette here. I cleaned off one side. I'm just going to use this to mix on. I'm not going to use those paints up there. They're very muddy. Um, I want um, clean paints. In fact, I want some clean water as well. Okay, I'm going to start with the one actually that's a good point i'm going to start with the one that i feel is going to be the easiest for me <laughs> i'm going to need this um art videos are not i don't i don't do art videos aside from the glue book it's this is the closest thing to an art video i've ever done <laughs> so bear with me
Now I'm going to just um, glue these in here somehow. I'm just going to use, actually on this one, I'm going to go, do I want to go this? I can stick out. I don't mind. I'm going to leave some space up here for some more play. Maybe some watercolor paper. And um, there are more things that I'm going to be doing in Laura Horn. Um, Graphics, uh, <laughs> our sketchbook series. So um, I may add some of that up there, and of course other places in the book. A lot of it I will have to add some mixed media or some watercolor paper, but that's okay. It's all about playing with the materials. I put too much glue on there. <laughs> I forgot it was going to be sticking out. holds the color, right? I may. I don't want to cover that up. I'm trying to think. This is an envelope. So I can't just staple it. Maybe, maybe I'll tape it in. I might tape it here. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, like I said before, art to videos are not really something I've ever done before. This poor, <laughs> this poor thing is so dirty and messed up. I kind of, it's kind of bugging me, but not enough to redo it. It's about playing with the colors and learning. And I learned something. I learned that um, ultramarine. And the sap green, yeah, these are the same. And the viridian is more blue. I did learn ultramarine. I mean, viridian is bluer. I mean, greener than the phthalo green. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I've learned now. I'm just gonna stick that back there. Kind of help hold it on a little bit better. Like that. Where's my other? Where is my other? There we go. <clears throat> now this one, I think, I'm actually just gonna staple it right up here. There's a little tab sticking up, I like that. So I'm just gonna staple it up there. And I can slide something under it if I need to, or want to. So, yeah. All right. There is my junk journal play for today. Do let me know if you enjoyed this. If not, let me know. Just be like, Marcia, you are not an artist. You need to quit trying. Um, no, I'm not going to quit trying. I just won't share it. <laughs> um, because I love playing with my, my materials. And I love being creative. And that's not going to stop. I've tried over the years to not be creative and just push it to the back burner. And it never ever works i have to be creative in some way whether it's making books journals collage painting what have you i will forever be making something okay i am just rambling now so i will go um and if you did enjoy this and you want to see me do more of what laura horn or um um i'm going to be also doing some sketchbook revival um classes in this I've watched a few of them. I haven't done any creating yet because I didn't have a book to put them in. But now I do. And so I'm going to start. I'm going to go back and look at some of those before the month is up. And um, start working on those in this book as well. I am excited to get started on those. I, I've been inspired already. Obviously inspired enough to make a book. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.